Effect and welcome back to Bananas Flood. In today's video I will be showing you how to make um, Flappy Bird in Scratch. So first you'll either need to make or download your Flappy Bird and the same with the pipes. You may also want to um, download, you may also want to draw or um, download a backdrop as well as it can make your game look much better. So let's hop right into the code. When go clicked, you'll need to make a variable called gravity. Set gravity to zero. Set x to minus 177. And set y to zero. So then add a forever loop. Change y by gra forever. Change y by gravity change gravity by minus one and then in another forever loop when go clicked forever if key space pressed or mouse down or whatever you want to have to press to lift the flappy bird then um, set gravity to 10 And wait until not not what um whatever you have here, whatever keys are being pressed here. So now we have basic movement for the flappy bird. It can go down, it can go up, and now the pipes. Now we are going to be using what's called a clone factory. So the pipes will always be hiding because we'll only be using clones. Now we'll need a show for the clones later on. When go click to hide forever. Wait, pick random, um, whatever you want really. How long you want it to wait. I'm going with two to five. Um, and then create clone of myself. When I start as a clone, show, um, and we need to delete this clone, um, set X, um, well actually, just to go to, um, X240, and then Y, pick random, minus 30 to 30, so repeat until, Um, repeat until x position is less than minus 230 change x by minus 4 so delete this clone but also chain um chain make of it um, you'll need a variable called score. Change score by one. So let's try that out. Oh yeah, just show score. You need to reset the score when um go is when the green flag is clicked. So make sure to do that. And just wait for the pipes to appear. And you'll notice I have touched the flight the, the pipes several times and they haven't stopped the game. So that can all be done in very simple code. If then if touching pipes that works for clones as well, which is helpful. If touching pipes, then um stop ball because um, you don't want the game to continue. And I'll touch the pipes. Now you may want to add an effect to make it play a sound or something 
when it touches the pipes. If you think you know how to do that, try and add it. But that's all for today's video, and bye. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.